Jamaica's Nikisha Price tops the podium at Tyson. Dana Williams talks about where she's at in her Paris Olympic Games prep. And Stacey Ann Williams, Andrinette Knight, plus Renee Tabor Thomas, solid as a rock. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. And you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. You jump a bit at least once a day here at Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at it and we break down the rate. It's on the ready? Yep, good to go. Well, as we continue our, well, our coverage of the Tyson Invitational and other sporting events happening across the world where Jamaican athletes are concerned, we are giving you the latest updates as to what's happening over there in Arkansas. In the women's 400 meters at the Tyson Invitational, Jamaica Stacey Ann Williams, alongside Jamaican representative, and yes, she has a US flag beside her, but she's a Jamaican representative, Lene Taver Thomas, plus Stephanie Ann McPherson and Andrinette Knight. Well, they competed in the women's 400 meter open finals, and in the end, it was the United States' Alexis Holmes who took the first place, with Jamaica's Taver, Lene Taver Thomas taking the second place. I still have no idea why they keep having that flag beside her. She's a Jamaican athlete, people. Holmes won in a time of 50.80, a meet record to take that first position. And in the second spot, Jamaica's Lene Taver Thomas ran 51.888. Stacey Ann Williams came third in 52.33 with Andronette Knight coming fourth in 52.68. Stephanie Ann McPherson finished with the season's best of 54.02 uh, in the 10th position but Geneve Russell did not start. Now we did say in our prelim video that we thought it would have been Stacey Ann Williams who won and Lene Taver Thomas would have been in that top three. Well we didn't get this one right but we are man enough to concede that and we admitted that the other athletes were also incredible, so anything was possible. So, congrats to the Jamaican athletes opening up. Um, I, I thought this was a solid, I mean, remember it's still early in the season, people, so they're kind of warming up. Let me know your thoughts. Now, world champion in the women's 100 meter hurdles from 2023, Jamaica's Daniel Williams opened up to flow track, talking about where she is in her Paris 2024 Olympic Games prep. Flowtrack reported, like a 10-step ladder, we are probably on the third step. Uh, original Anse was open, op was open saying she's not where she needs to be just yet, but her training has her encouraged for the hurdles competition to come. This is like a 10-step ladder, we are probably on the third step. Okay. So we are far from where we need to be, uh -huh. but you know, we are where we need to be mm -hmm. at this point. Uh, training has been going really well. Um, I feel like I'm ahead of all of where I was at this point last year. And so if I'm, a, if I, I'm ahead now, so it's good to, to, it's a good outlook for where we're looking to go. And so um, we're just staying in the moment, uh, appreciating where we are, trying not to get ahead of ourselves. It's easy to get ahead of ourselves when you see everybody racing and they're running fast and you're like, whoa. And just remember that everybody is at a different place. They have different objectives than what we have. We are training for the Olympics and the Jamaican trials. And so even if we're not up there with everybody at this point, our focus is, is in, in July. So um, just keep working hard, keep putting in, staying focused, um, keep showing up every single day and working on what we need to work on. And, you know, it'll be all now, Daniel Williams did open up her season recently running the 60 meter dash flat, not hurdles. Uh, came second in that event. This was about a week or so ago. And she will be uh, at this Sunday's Milrose Games. Of course, we'll be covering that. So what you say makes sense, people. Um, everyone is at a different place. So looking forward to see what she does for the 2024 season. Big up to Jamaica's Daniel Williams. As I continue to talk about how Jamaica's um, track and field is expanding, uh, we are doing well not only in terms of the short sprints, 400, 100, 200, and the relay, sprint relays, but we are just getting better and better at the throws as well as the long jumps. Talking about throws, I'm excited to share that at the recently held Ireland Cup LUDs at Atlas Arena, LUDs Poland. Well, Jamaica's Rahindra Campbell stepped up his preparation for the World Athletics Indoor Championships after setting a new Jamaican record in the shot put 
21.13 meters for third place at the aforementioned Orland, Orland Cup in Lodz, Poland at the Atlas Arena. Nikisha Price, the national champion in the women's 400 meters and silver medalist from the 2023 Budapest World Championships uh, in the 4x400 four meter relay. Nikisha Price gave Jamaica its first win today at the Tyson Invitational, repping for uh, the Arkansas Razorbacks in the 400 meters as one would anticipate. Price won the event in a time of 51.04, a new season's best, ahead of fellow Arkansas Kaylin Brown, who ran 51.49 to take that second spot, a personal best, and Pearl Awanya of Kansas, who came third at a time of 52.56. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. You know we're big fans of Nikisha Price, right? Huge, huge, huge fans of Nikisha Price. Um, and I think the athletes are doing well. It's very, very early in the season. I did think um, in the 400 meter open that Stacey and Williams would have won, but Alexis Holmes is a great talent, so can't take anything from her. She ran a meet record. Um, Ta Lene Tava Thomas is a Jamaican athlete, people. I have no idea what's, I guess, um, well, what I've been, what I'm assuming is that her papers didn't go through and they probably should have gone through or in the process of going through. So until her papers go through, they will not put her as a Jamaican athlete. But we know that she is repping for Jamaica. That's the only way she could have ran in the national trials last year. Okay. So um, don't get it twisted. Some of you have been saying what's going on, but that's what's going on. She's a Jamaican athlete. So Jamaica walks away uh, with, in the 400 meters, a win uh, and a second place and a third place and a fourth place. So we're doing okay. All right. So uh, we'll keep you up to date and know that many are looking out for the short sprints, the 60 meters. We'll get that to you as soon as we get the information. And as soon as we get the actual races, we will, of course, share that. You know, that's how we do here at Peter Lloyd World. So um, are, you, are, are you surprised at Stacey and Williams? um did not win or did you know that i was going to be wrong <laughs> look people she came second she came second so i wasn't that far off um nikisha price did what we anticipated and price handed us our first win at the tyson invitational thus far i'm sure that we're going to have many many more coming up if i'm not correct about that please let me know y'all are very very knowledgeable now, don't forget to go over there and support our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. Are you as excited about the throws and the, and the jumps as I am? Because I really think I want to see us become a completely, completely dominant. Not just short spin tracks, but I'm talking about the middle distance, long distance and the, and, um, the, the, the off track. I want us to dominate. So I'm really excited about that new national record. Anyway. Like I said, support our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. We have something really huge happening next week. We're gonna, you're gonna start finding out about that very, very soon. We're super excited about that uh, here at Peter Lloyd World, myself and the team. I mean, like we're really, really excited. Uh, remember, you are royals, kings and queens. Hit the subscribe button, kings and queens. Bless up. <laughs>